<laughs> Let's keep the COVID conversation going, but we're going to focus on how the pandemic was handled. Yeah, that's right. This morning, Senate Homeland Security Committee released a report examining the pandemic failures at the beginning of the COVID outbreak. Joining us now to discuss is senior digital White House correspondent Shannon Pettypiece. Shannon, good morning. So first, just explain to us who exactly this is that makes up this committee that released this and also what were some of the major takeaways from the report? Yeah, well, this was a Senate committee, and the chairman, Senator Gary Peters, was the one who requested this report, and it was primarily written by the Democratic committee staff. But what the committee did here was they conducted extensive interviews with public health officials, including top officials in the Trump administration during that uh, the early days of the COVID pandemic. And their main takeaway was that many of the deaths and much of the economic damage particularly in those early months, could have been avoided, that none of this was preordained. And the committee goes through a number of, of missteps, a real cascade of events that contributed to some of these early deaths and economic damage. So things like a failure by the Trump administration to grasp early the severity of, the, of this virus. And we were slow to detect the spread of this virus throughout the U.S. Uh, they said the Trump administration was slow to release uh, this PPE in this national strategic reserve stockpiles. Uh, they also cited things like an inability to effectively detect cases once they were spreading because we didn't have a test. So a whole layer of events that the committee said, uh, you know, went across the Trump administration, but also went back decades to other administrations and this country's failure overall to prepare for this type of pandemic. I mean, Shannon, we know that the report found the pitfall, fit, pitfalls made in the early stages of COVID do go beyond the former administration. So what other factors does the report say contributed to the shortcomings in the response? Yeah, so I mean, they said that there was just really a systemic failure across the U.S. government. And a, a big reason for that was a failure to commit funding and resources over decades to some of these programs that would have stockpiled PPE in the strategic reserves, a failure by the U.S. to create supply chains so that the U.S. wasn't so dependent on manufacturing from overseas. Those were things that people had been warning about for years, but there were warnings uh, that just hadn't been responded to by Congress you know, because they would have taken funding and there's always a fight for resources. So you know, the committee is saying that the flaws here in the system that we saw in 2020, they remain and they're urging Congress to take some action going forward to try to address those. All right, Shannon, thank you so much for your reporting here. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.